If you remember in the last video lesson, we had this error here, name error, name Steph is not defined. That's because we just typed in the text Steph without quotes. Now we know that if you are creating a string data type, you have to put your text or your numbers inside of quotes like I just did here and everything will be fine. And we also know if we want to create numbers, we just type out a number and everything's cool. So let's now jump into the next concept, the concept of a variable. So I'm going to use a comment here, a variable. There we go. So I'm using the Python shell here to do our quick demos. See the whole point of the Python shell is it allows you to type in code real quickly and then you hit enter and then Python processes it. It's a little bit quicker than typing in code inside a PY file and then saying it to the Python processor to process the code. So for our demos, I'll be jumping into Python shell every now and then, but when you're doing real coding, you're gonna be typing your code into PY files all the time. So let's create a variable. I'm gonna start with something simple. Name equals quotes. Stefan, so we hit enter, and now we go print name. So you see, no errors. Now, what just happened here? Well, when you do something like this, you're creating a variable in Python. Now, a variable is just a container. It's a place inside your computer to hold information. So in the case of name, equals Stefan, we've held, we're holding, or we placed the text Stefan inside the variable name. So then when we ask Python to print out whatever is in the variable name, it's called Stefan. So why is it called a variable? We call the variable because what you hold in the variable name can be changed. It can vary. So I'll give you an example. I'll go name equals, I'm going to say now it's going to be Ivan. And I go print name Ivan. So you see the value, the information that we held inside of name has just changed. It's varied. You can put all kinds of information into variables. Let's create another variable. So we're going to call it, um, call it price. And we're going to go equals and watch this, $25.67. No problem, then we go print price, 25 and 67. Now, by the way, when you have a number with a period in here, like this, so you can use it to create prices and so on, this is another data type. And this data type is called a float. They call it a floating point number. Floats are not ints and they're not strings, of course. I just want you to know that's the third data type we've learned. Now we'll go back here, data types, we got int string. And now you just learn float. Pretty good, pretty good. Now you can see how I'm using the Python shell to really quickly write out code and get a response from Python, the app, rather than having to save this file and reload it, save it, reload it. It's just quicker. And you as a coder, you might once in a while jump into to the Python shell just to check out some code to see if it works or not really quickly. Sometimes people do that kind of thing. All right, that's enough for now. Let's, uh, let's move on to the quiz questions.